Culty Collective is here at the CinemaCon premiere of Joyride. We get to speak to some of the creatives behind this epic Asian American adventure film. Is there a particular theme throughout the film and story that really is close to your heart? We made this movie really anticipating like this is just a big comedy and it's for everyone. I think that's the biggest thing with uh, being able to show this movie and be like, hey, Asian people can be funny, but that wasn't our intention. We were just like, hey, here's a funny movie and it happens to start Asian people. I think that's what's exciting is that you're starting to see more projects and it's not like, oh, this is an Asian movie. Like, this is a big comedy. Uh, and I think that that's always really important, that we don't have to be like representative of the whole. What was it like to work with such an incredibly talented and diverse, um, and specifically Asian uh, crew behind the scenes? Yeah, I think it's so important. Again, like representation in front of the camera, but also behind the camera, and really making sure that the people who are involved in the movie understand some of the nuances of, of the culture that we really haven't been able to show. Let me tell you, it was wonderful. It was like coming home. We shot in Vancouver, but a lot of our movie takes place in Asia. And the key to that is to really feeling like you are bringing something authentic on screen and being able to do that means having a crew and heads of department who know our culture, who love our culture, who are from our culture. If you could choose a theme that really is close to your heart from the film, what would that be? Friendship! No, seriously, this movie was born out of the fact that us three friends, me, Teresa and Adele, were just like hanging out and thinking, what's a movie we would want to see? And then that it became a movie that everyone can see and enjoy now. What are you most proud of about the film? I am so proud of our cast and that we are able to bring to life something that we all have lived in our lives which is when you get together with girlfriends and you're sharing like the nastiest messiest thirstiest stories that's a side of us that you don't really ever get to see on screen that gets to be celebrated on screen and being able to like show that nasty raunchy side of women that isn't always just like you know kind of put together and you know being told from like a male point of view that this is like our sexuality our sensuality told from a female point of view told from our point of view and I'm the most proud of that for more stories for and about the next generation of the Asian diaspora, go to coltycollective.com.